Um, T can be a cat. <laughs> for those of you guys who know my Twitter or my Facebook, you already know this. But for all of you others, I let me let me tell you, let me let me tell you that I went to Canada for a couple of days the other day. That doesn't even make sense. I'm really tired and sleepy. I'm totally jet lagged, and I have absolutely no makeup, and I look absolutely tired. Uh, that's why I'm wearing sunglasses, even though I'm inside my room, because like, I'm stupid like that. <sighs> So for now, uh, you have to deal with the sunglasses because I quickly want to tell you, uh, I want to tell you what I did in Canada. But um, not so much time tonight. So what I'm quickly going to do is let you know what I hauled from Canada because I bought stuff in Canada. It was the very, very first time that I went to that part of the world. I would have loved to meet some of you guys, but actually I went for a very short time to a wedding! So I didn't really have the time to hang out with any of you, but never say never! I really want to come back, uh, I want to go to Canada again, and I want to go to America as well. So whenever there's the chance, I will do a big announcement on my Facebook and my Twitter uh, when I go to your part of the world, or when I go to other parts of the world. So stay tuned for that, please! Yay! It's a wedding Canada. Look at that. <laughs> Anyways, let's start my amazing, amazing Canada haul. And I will also tell you why Canada sucks. Big things first. We went to Costco. Unfortunately, I didn't find Pop Tarts. I found massive. Kellogg's bars croquants and I love how all crisps that's the English word huh uh, they're all like pop tarts just different and they're like crispy and inside they have like a filling and you don't need to pop them into the toaster so I thought that's a cool idea and they're three different flavors so I brought them back home for people to enjoy next one up because so many people are trying to be healthy and I thought maybe they don't want to have this sweetie stuff I got Oh, sweetie stuff, but healthy sweetie stuff. This is like dark chocolate chips that are taste of life. Und Busch Divi means red wine is in those cookies here. Only in the dark ones, which I figured out later. And the lots of little sachets. It's again a nice thing to give people as gifts. Say, hey, I went to Canada. I brought you some healthy cookies. Hash browns! Okay, these are not milk packages, but hash browns. It's a roll of hash a great gift. Again, for those people who don't like sweet stuff. I will never understand you people, but I respect your decision to not eat sweets. And of course, I could not leave Costco without that certain little thing. Maple syrup! Oh, Canada! So I got loads and loads of maple syrup. Yay, this is actually really heavy, to be honest. Maple syrup. Oh, wait, I was in Alberta. Is anyone from you from Alberta? Alberta's cool. I like Alberta. I also went to Banff, to Calgary, and I went to Edmonton. Edmonton. Badminton. Edmonton. Yay! I'm so jet lagged. This is really bad. Best thing I had in Canada was maple bacon sausage pizza. That was awesome. And maple donuts at the farmers market. Next I went to Sweet Chops, and guess what I got? Ah! I went to Sweet Chop and guess what I got? A tentacles, what you thought, and you were right! Yeah, <laughs> I saw that and I, I could not, could not resist. I know you've all seen that kind of anime, you people. But I also got... Da -da -da -da! Muffins from My Little Pony, <laughs> which also had a different name before. Derpy! That's for my friend Joanne because she loves ponies and her birthday is coming up. I've seen many, many Harajuku girls with these ones. These are rings in funky colors with swirly eyes. If you see them in your country and you want to do decora, best thing ever! They're huge, they're funky, they're crazy, and they're cheap. I got a candy moustache for you <laughs> because. I think it would look hilarious. Hopefully we can put that into one of the videos. I want him to wear his moustache so badly. I got a Canada gift. <laughs> Once again, my lady, I got a Canada gift bag. Maple syrup in the shape of a maple leaf. Maple syrup butter. Oh, please don't hate me, Canadians. I know there are more, far more better things than just maple syrup, but it's 
just like maple syrup. So there's another maple thing. It's maple on the candy. Oh, and again, we went to Banff. So I got Banff maple syrup in a little case, which I can send to my dad so he can have some maple syrup. Sunscreen! Because this one said 60, and I'm like, what? Like, Japan always goes up to 50, this one said 60. I don't quite believe it. Canada budget. I was really hoping I'd see a bear, but I didn't see a bear. It's probably for the best. Maybe you might not be seeing me if I saw a bear, because the bear might just chase me. And then, tear me to pieces. One less YouTuber to worry about. <laughs> bear. Coming back to the topic of bears is one of the things that I actually bought for myself. And I'm hugely proud of that, because it's a... Bear hat! Isn't this cute? I was like, I didn't see bears, but now I have a bear hat. So I shall sport that into some of the upcoming videos. Bear! Bear! Yes. <laughs> Jelly beans in funky flavor! Lip glosses! That smell nice. I thought these are great for Lolita presents because everything I made out of chocolate will melt. So, not chocolate for Lolita's this summer. I had 39 degrees today at the station. 39 degrees. And I arrived at the station, it was like, whoa. Bo? Bo! My English does not make much sense right now. A camera, a camera cap, a Canada cap. Oh, thank you, Jet Like. I'm being so consistent. This is the second thing that I bought for myself. And it's kind of sexy, guys. Corset! Da 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 da! I saw them. Still smells of incense from that shop. Uh, it was actually in the same shop where I got the hat. Uh, it was called Sanctuary and it was like one of those alternative stores. I love alternative stores because you can find all the stuff that you can't find in normal stores, which makes sense because that's why they're called alternative stores. Someone stop this girl from talking! This one is a gift from my mom because I never really see her because obviously I live in Japan. And she's gonna get a blue 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 blue. There you go. It's a dream catcher necklace. The one ring to rule them all, to bind them. And something and you can't read them. There's Alvish on this ring and it's kind of blue. I could have gotten it in gold, but I kind of want it in blue because whatever, it, it looked nice. I wanted it. This is the most expensive thing I got to myself. I bought from the corset while I was in Canada. And it's so stereotypical, but it's so beautiful. Canadians, please forgive me. It's a golden maple leaf. I was waiting for that moment to happen. Oh, I like your necklace, babe. But you know what? It's from Canada. Oh my god, you got it in Canada? Yeah, you know what? It's actually a real maple leaf in gold, babe. Oh my god, babe, that's amazing! Not that I have any friends like that, but the scenario was just nice to match. I found the perfect, perfect birthday card for Joanne. It's my little pony! I got, finally, the You Suck Notes! Da da da! So, this one is the You Suck Note, and I will write you, Canada, a You Suck Note. And then I will probably give them to people at work sometime. Dear Canada, I regret to inform you that you suck. In a good way. You always made sure I had an awesome time while I was there. And it makes me want to come and visit again. I really like you very much. So I hope you won't take this the wrong way. Please do not beat yourself up. It is really a big deal. Your attention to this matter is appreciated. Yours truly, Kathy Cat. Yay! <laughs> if you want to know what I did in Canada, hopefully I can somehow do that sometime soon. Yeah. I don't know why this hand is there. Yeah. For tonight, I think we all agree. It's time. It's really time that I get some sleep. I was about to go to bed and then I realized I haven't shown you the most important thing. Um, it's David's tea. You guys know I love tea. So I bought like... 70, 80 dollars worth of tea. I know I'm crazy, but I always wanted to have more of their teas and I love their tea so much, it's so good. So I bought loads of tea. First of all, I got loads of tea as a gift from my lovely friends in Canada. I got hard candy and strawberry colada. Next thing were three tea tins that I wrapped carefully into Bone savers, for example, Sailor Moon, to keep them safe. I have strawberry rhubarb parfait, chocolate rocket, and birthday cake! It's a sweet indulgence little pack that I do with many, many with flavors, and it really got me into that tea brand. And you can call it a tea brand because it's so pricey. Shiny packages all contain different types of tea. Oh, it smells 
so good. And most of these are like very sweet on their own, so you don't even need to sweeten them, which is great because I have such a sweet tooth and I need to sometimes tame it a little bit, like right now, because I'm sure I gained some weight when I was there. I am obsessed with pretty dresses and tea. Hi, I love you guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you for another video soon. And please leave me comments in the box below, please. I miss your comments and I always read them. And hopefully you can let me know what your connection to Canada is. Have you been to Canada? Are you Canadian? What is the most Canadian thing apart from poutine and maple, maple syrup and Tim Hortons? Let me know what you think in the box below. I shall go and get some sleep now and see you soon!